Hey guys, so today I'm filling my monthly makeup basket for May. I do have a video sharing with you my top five tips on creating and sustaining a successful makeup basket. So I'll have that link down below. If you have any questions about makeup baskets, leave them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So now just jumping into the products starting with nails. So last month I included my nail polish and I really liked doing that. Um, picking out the four polishes I plan to wear for the month and let me know what your thoughts are on that But I'm quite enjoying it so far. So the first color I have is Essie Bikini So teeny which is a really pretty light periwinkle shade when I'm wearing on my nails right now The next one is from Zoya and this is the shade Stevie This is one of their pixie dust which are their textured polishes and this is a really pretty lilac with a ton Of silver glitter in here. It looks like a gumdrop on the nails. It's really pretty my next polish is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Mint Sorbet. This is the OG one, not the new messed up formula. So a really nice classic mint. And then I have another Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Lacy Lilac, which is just the perfect lilac, very opaque, and I'm excited to get some use out of those polishes this month. So now moving on to brow products, I have quite a few. I have my NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. I have two eyebrow pencils, Maybelline Define a Brow in Dark Blonde, and the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe. Then I have my MAC eyeshadow in Omega, and I also have my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. If you watched my past couple videos, I wore it a lot, so I want to try to get some more use out of this again. I haven't used it in a while. I also have my Milani Brow and Eye Highlight in Number 2 Matte Cream Luminous Lift, and my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Blonde. So now moving on to face products for primers. I have two. First one I have is my NYX Angel Veil Primer to wear all over my face and then I have the Smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer to use on my large pores and also this is the travel size which is actually half the size of their regular full-size version but you are getting a much better value buying this if you bought two of these travel size it would be the exact amount of product as a full size but it would be cheaper so for foundation i have two different combos that i'll be using for my casual work days and some filming days i'll be using my drugstore foundation combination which is my elf acne fighting foundation in porcelain and my hard candy glamouflage foundation in porcelain i'm wearing this combo today and then my foundation combo for my more professional work days will be the kat von d Laca tattoo foundation in light 45 mixing that with my hard candy glamouflage and porcelain so moving on to concealer i have quite a few i have my nyx dark circle corrector and fair which i'm using today and in combo with that i like to use the maybelline instant age rewind and this is in the shade fair if i'm wanting more coverage under the eye i have my maybelline master conceal in the shade fair and then for my blemishes i have my mac pro longwear in nc15 so moving on to powders my current under eye setting combo is is the Wet n Wild Fergie Mattifying Take on the Day Powder and my MAC Shaping Powder in Emphasize. To set my face, I have the L'Oreal True Match Powder in W1 Porcelain, and then I also have a powder to apply to my neck. This is my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in the shade number two nude. Just in case my face is looking a little bit too dark, having this darker powder to blend onto my neck to help everything match. So now moving on to cheek products for bronzer. I have my Milani Matte Baked Bronzer in the shade number eight Sunset. To contour, I have my MAC Sculpting Powder in the shade Sculpt. To highlight, I have the ColourPop Highlighter in the shade Stole the Show. This is a mini size I got in an order a couple weeks ago and I can't wait to really try it out and test it before I purchase some other shades. I have one cream blush. This is my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in the shade Candy Coral. I really want to try to get a lot of good use out of this. And then I have five powder blushes. First is the Milani Matte Baked Blush in the shade number 10 Delicioso Pink. I'm someone that doesn't really like pink blushes, but this is definitely one of my absolute favorites. Next, I have two blushes from Tarte. The first is one I'm wearing today. This is their Amazon clay blush in the shade blissful which is a beautiful deep matte pinky peach my other tart blush is a mini that came out in a holiday collection I think in 2012 and this is the shade fantastic a nice light bright bubblegum neon pink then I have two of the Clinique cheek pops the first shade I have is peach pop this is one of my holy rail blushes I absolutely love that shade and the other one I have is plum pop which you can see is a really pretty pink that has a lot of purple undertone to it and I really love the formula of these blushes so now moving on to eye products of course for my primer I have my Milani eyeshadow primer 
Then for shadows, I have my MAC Quad of Stars and Rockets Shimmer Moss, Expensive Pink, and Free to Be. I did wear Stars and Rockets once last month and Shimmer Moss once last month as well. So I really want to try to use these top two shades some more and really get some good use out of this. I need to wear colorful shadows again. I've kind of gotten out of the habit of that and gotten into more neutral shadows, but I love color and I don't want to depart from it. But I do have a neutral trio, which is what I'm wearing today. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio and Walking on Eggshells. And to go along with that trio, I have my Milani Bella Eyes and Bella Cappuccino and my Wet n Wild Single and Brulee as a transition color and a highlight shade. I have three eyeliners to use this month. I have my Maybelline Lime Stiletto Liquid Liner, my Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner in Nude, and lastly, I have my Urban Decay 24-7 Liner in the shade Whiskey. I actually do not have too much of this baby left, so that's really exciting. I'm wearing it on my upper lash line today. And then I have three mascaras to use this month. First is a sample of the MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara, and my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I should probably have have like a week's worth of product left in here and then that will be done and I also have my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. So lastly we have lips and I went way overboard this month. I did have the five lip products that I picked out but then I got four new ColourPop lippy sticks and I got some of the new NYX Intense Butter Glosses which I want to do a review on this month so I need to at least test out one shade. So I'm going to have ten lip products in my monthly makeup basket which I know is a little bit crazy so I'm giving myself some more variety also I have the Maybelline Rebel Bloom lipsticks in here which I'm not sure if I even like the formula so I don't know how much I will even wear them this month so anyway 10 lip products I know that is insane but what are we gonna do so first I have two of the Maybelline Rebel Bloom lipsticks the first one is the shade peach poppy and I feel like these Rebel Bloom lipsticks are like a much thinner formula than their regulars or their vivids um, the other shade I have is lilac flush and both of these shades are really intense and I'm not sure how wearable they're gonna be and what I'm gonna think of the formula so I'm gonna test them out and maybe I'll fall in love with them and maybe I will want to get rid of them so I will definitely keep you guys posted on that the next thing I have is one of my all-time favorite lip combos. The lipstick is using Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Prim Rose, which is a dupe for Max Snob. This is a really nice cream finish. And then the lip gloss on top would be my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Meringue. Both of these are blue tone pinks and together just creates the most perfect blue tone pink. It is a bit neon, but not as unwearable as MAC Saint Germain. So I really love this combo with the Milani Delicioso pink blush. So I'm sure I'm going to be wearing that a ton. The other lip product I had planned to use this month was the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Strudel. I absolutely love these. And this is a shade that I haven't worn too much. So I wanted to get some more use out of it because this color is right up my alley. And then I have the five lip products that I did not plan on putting in here originally. For First is what I'm wearing today. This is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Sorbet. Again, like I mentioned, I do plan on having a review on these coming up very soon. So I want to really thoroughly test it out, wear it for a whole day to get my proper opinions for you guys for the review. And then I purchased four of the six new ColourPop lippy sticks for spring. I purchased the shade Monkey, which is a hyper glossy, and this is a warm tone light pink. The next shade I have is Westy. This is a dusty light pink with a matte finish. The next shade I have is Pepper, which is a purple tone pink with a matte finish. The last shade I have is Tootsie, which is a grayish color with a matte finish. So guys, those are all the products in my monthly makeup basket for May. If you film these videos, please let me know in a comment down below so I can go check them out. And if you have tried any of these products, please let me know your thoughts on them. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.